So here are three things in NT you're probably not doing, you might not even be aware you could do, and also might be worth considering doing to make your life a little more easier. You ready? So the first is customizing tab names. The one area particularly useful is adding in the period. So by default, you might see something like the ES0320 for the contract date or US CAD if it's for Forex. But when you right click on that tab, you can hit rename. You'll see the tab name section. This is something that can be edited with a, a bunch of different properties. Oh, and for those of you who are actual members of ours that use our XABCD patterns, um, I just want to mention before I forget in this video is we released 12 new videos in our on demand section for tips and tricks, but all relating to the XVCD pattern. So if that's, uh, if, if you are a member with us, uh, make sure that you check those out. Um, so when you hit this down triangle, it will give you more options. The one I like to add is called the at period in this way, your tab will read something like CL 03 dash 20 daily right so not only is this helpful if you have multiple tabs but if you are someone who alt tabs like i was saying and, and wants to see all their active windows this is going to be a very easy way so that if you if you alt tab you'll see the instrument and then dash and the, the time frame above the little window right the little micro window there making it very easy to identify the chart that you need and then you can just select it with your mouse so very useful to have the period in there, whether or not you want to add in anything else. I wouldn't go too crazy because you don't want your tabs to be a mile long, but uh, the instrument, the period is definitely something that's very handy. Now, I can't remember if I said this Barish. before, but uh, please save two. your presets so that you can see this by default when you actually open up a new tab. You don't have to do it every single time to every tab that you want to open. Barish. So just by e default, one. save it as your preset. Now, the second important thing that you got to do is backup reminders, okay, with NT8. You're never going to remember to back things up on your own. You'll need to have a reminder, whether or not you want to use a calendar or something, but that's a little clumsy. So NT8 has built in their own reminders. Uh, these will happen when you shut down your platform. You'll get a reminder, hey, do you want to back it up? It's a very good idea to back it up. Um, we discuss uh, this backup situation in a lot more detail in this video i'll put up here um, but it's also pretty hidden so to get there you got to open up your nta control center and then at the top menu where it says tools you want to go to that expert and then backup files this is as if you're going to do a backup file and at the very bottom you can see the, the little box that says you want to be reminded every friday and i like friday as an option because it, it will require your connections to be disconnected Okay, so your data connection, your broker connected, it all has to be disconnected. So if you're doing it Friday, right, when you shut down your platform at the end of the week, then that's something that could be very handy in order to back up your performance. And then you know, okay, next week, what you're going to be looking at, right? You have basically a fresh start, you have a backup. If you ever need to restore anything, you can. Now, if you haven't yet downloaded our news indicator and our price line indicator, they're totally free. Uh, we do have a paid version of the news, but you don't need to get something like that. Uh, the, the free one, just to be able to mark news events in your chart, is extremely useful, as well as our price line tool. So uh, before I forget about that, um, just a reminder, if you haven't had them, you might as well go and get them because right now they are free and uh, they're yours to keep and use. But anyways, the last tip is going to be very useful if you use the market analyzer because there's a new column, relatively new, called days until rollover. And it's going to show you how many days until the rollover happens. Very useful since keeping track of all this on a rollover calendar is pretty annoying. Uh, but having a countdown happen for you right on your NT8 screen where all your instruments is listed is a very cool and useful feature. So I recommend it. It's called the calendar... Or, the calendar the column is called days until rollover so right click on your marking analyzer go to columns and double click the days until rollover into your configured box you'll see it drop down and then you can go right ahead and uh, just press ok and we'll add it and populate it there's a whole bunch of filters you can do so you can say okay if the days until your rollover drops below five highlight the background in yellow 
and uh, that way it's going to stand out. You can even play an alert, stuff like that. Now, if you found this video useful, slap that like button so we know that we should do more of these sort of videos periodically. We would love to get your feedback on that. Until next time, trade safe, and we will see you in the next video.